to go. Hi, I'm Brother Prater. Welcome to my page. I hope you're enjoying your day. I'm going to give you some words of encouragement. Yesterday, a school shooting in Florida was a tragic thing. Thank God they did apprehend the person that did that senseless act. But also, we're not going to walk in fear. We're going to continue to be prayerful. But also, we're going to utilize this as a teachable moment for ourselves, for our children. First and foremost, if there is anything that's going on that the children may hear about, parents and staff members, let's talk to the children to come forward with information. Let's talk. Let's communicate. If the children hear something, do not let them feel that, well, that's unimportant or you're snitching. Number one, teachers. We need to let the children feel comfortable in talking to us about information. Matter of fact, uh, some time ago, my son was telling me that he was telling a teacher something and the teacher told him, well, you need to quit snitching. Staff members, teachers, we don't need to be doing that because if anything happens where it could have been prevented, you know who's going to be at fault? The one that the, one that the students told. So let's be responsible in listening to the children, but also parents. If there's anything that's going on that we hear about, our children telling us something, we need to report it. We need to let them know. We need to let the school know. It's better to be safe than sorry. Thank God, even I read about uh, there was a grandmother that turned in her grandchild because she read the journal and he had plotted the same type of act that happened yesterday. Thank God that that didn't happen. But we need to make sure that we inform ourselves. Let's have a plan of action. If anything happened, look here. Let's contact this person. Let's contact that person. If something is said that's inappropriate, or if a child talking about getting revenge or whatever like that. No. Staff members need to know about it. Parents need to know about it. So the students... We have a responsibility. If you hear about something, if you see something, tell. I don't care what they say. With You know, snitches get stitches. That doesn't matter. First of all, it's better to be alive. And also preventing a senseless act like what happened yesterday. A lot of this stuff could be avoided. But also, let's talk to our congressmen, our con congresswomen. Let's get out there and vote. Whatever you're Democratic, Republican, whatever. That doesn't matter. The main thing is, let's let our people, our representatives, our state representatives, let's let our legal people know what's going on, our concerns, how we feel, but also let's help, let's help us to be responsible in who we put into offices. Let's get people that's going to listen. Let's get people that's concerned, that has our best interests at heart. So, all of that being said, we're going to continue to be prayerful. We're not going to be in fear. We're going to continue to be in prayer. But also, along with us praying, we're not going to utilize prayer as an excuse for us to do nothing. We're going to put some feet with our prayers and do something. We're going to be proactive, not reactive. So along with prayer, let us be responsible for doing something. Let's be responsible. Let's get the children involved to help them to communicate with us and also for us to communicate with them. Parents or teachers, make sure that we allowing the talking about the parents. Let's make sure that we are involved in our children's lives. Let's get involved pertaining to school. And also even checking in on what they going what's going on in their personal life. If they have a journal, question, ask. But also for those who may be applying for guns. It's easy to check out the background, but also it's easy for us to start getting to their Facebook page or social media. Let's find out what type of person that we're dealing with. And also even with the parents. If you know that your uh, children are playing with kids, if they on social media, let's check them out. Let's look on what's on our children's social media page. Let's investigate, let's do some investigation instead of just letting everything bypass or playing a, a deaf ear or turning a blind eye to things. Let's utilize this as a teachable moment so that way we can prevent senseless act like what happened yesterday. Let's prevent it from happening again. 
Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you right now, God. Thank you, Lord, for your awesomeness. We come to you right now, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for covering us, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for even what happened yesterday, God. We thank you, Lord, for not allowing such a worse act to happen, God. God, we ask you, Lord, to help those, God, who are uh, grieving right now, God. Minister to them, God. Be with them, God. Those who are injured, God. God, heal their bodies right now. Heal their minds. And Lord, even those who witnessed that senseless act, God. God, help them. Comfort them, God. Help them, God, to get the proper help that is needed, God, and counseling, God, to be able to help them to understand what happened, God, and let them know, God, that was the trick of the enemy right now, God. Help them, God, to even to overcome whatever situation that the devil may try to plant into their mind. God, we speak, God, that you help them, God, in every area of their lives right now, God, in the name of Jesus. And say about everything you stand for, about every problem, about every confusion right now, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we help, God, help us, God, to continue, God, to trust you. God, help us, God, to not waver in our faith, even concern what happened, God. And God, we yet trust in you, God. We rely upon you, God. And help us, God, to be proactive and not reactive, God. Help us, God, to not just say we're going to pray, but God, let's show people our prayers right now, God. Help us, God, even to be concerned for one another, God. And God, we thank you, Lord, for helping us, God, to be unified, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for everything you've done, everything you're going to do. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen, amen, amen. I thank you for watching this video, and I pray that it ministers to you. Be blessed.